Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And as always, we have the fabulous Bob Cook from the Manchester Institute of Psychotherapy. And um, Bob is going to talk about quite a new book in supervision. And if you've seen the 22, which is the last book we reviewed here, where we talked about um, supervision and the helping professions, this kind of continues the theme. And um, this book is by Helena Hagenden, if I'm, I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it's called The Art of Relational Supervision. And there's an interesting story attached to this, Bob. So what is it? Share that story. So, okay, so Lena Hagenden is very well known in the transaction analysis movement. And she um, was at the spearhead, if you like, of the relational transaction analysis movement, which um, I would say cut off from the TA movement, but it's certainly a distinct approach within TA. And she's brought her ideas of relational therapy, if you like, uh, into the supervision word. So relational TA has as its cornerstone how you use transference, counter-transference, and the use of the self in the present moment. Mm. So if you take those ideas into supervision, it's how the supervisor uses their self, counter-transference, projective identification, and transference, which are all forms of transference, really, yes. the supervisory process in the present day. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I want, to say, I want to say it's groundbreaking, but it does draw very, very strongly, doesn't it, from the humanistic school and mm. how they mm. supervise. It's, it's, you know, a humanistic supervisor would say, well, maybe they do that all the time. Although I would argue that perhaps they wouldn't pay as much attention to counter-transference and transference. No, psychodynamic world, though, would. Oh, absolutely. So if you talk to psychodynamic supervisors, that's the world they move in. Yeah, yeah. And this, this book is really aimed at group supervision. Ah, so what okay. Helena did was um, put many of her supervisees into a group. And uh, she ran this group, I don't know if it was for a year or, or longer, but she then um, writes this book on the back of her findings of relational group supervision, you know, from the year. And what conclusions did she come to? It sounds like a bit of research as well as um, a I bit of a story. At, I think it's looking at the themes of um, how you work in supervision as a supervisor, mm. using your sense of self, using the transference in the aid of the supervisee ultimately. Yeah. So that's yeah. where you head back. So for example, if if somebody came into the, the group and said, you know, um, you know, something like uh, you know, John is a member of the group, say, you know, while well, I'm here I'm suddenly feeling quite angry and I don't know if I'm being angry with you or in fact perhaps I'm angry because of the work that I've been doing with somebody on anger management. So what material or from the supervision is brought into the group and gets perhaps projected out onto group members. So it's like how do we use the group and the transferences on the group and the projections in the group and the counter transfers and the supervisor's use of the self to get back to helping the supervi supervisee. So for example, Two very pivotal questions I think every supervisor should ask themselves is who is the client for me? Yes. In the therapeutic process, right? And who am I for the client? So you've got two diametrically opposed positions. Mm -hmm. Who am I for the client? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the reverse. That would be th starting to think transference. Yes. So with the group members, who are the group members playing out in the actual present moment where I might be projecting material onto them, which actually come from the supervisees? Yes. So it is revolutionary in a, well, in a way. It's like using the group, you know, many facets of the group to look at the transference or the projective identification, which actually has come from the supervisee, but which has been played out unconsciously or consciously within that group 
Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking about supervising them one to one. Um, I, I would imagine that 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 takes quite a lot of quite a lot of thought and personal reflection and personal development to work with mul yeah. multiple transferences, counter transferences, right. parallel processes. Right. <laughs> yeah. Very sophistication. A lot of a lot of sophistication. This isn't. This is not for people who a don't know them well and, it, and b haven't got their own therapist. And also, actually, all those people in that group were very were experienced. Yes. Artists. Yes. So it, it really does mean a lot of sophistication in terms of knowing yourself and experience. Yeah, and I would think it's quite nuanced as well because you've got you've got a lot of people in the room. They all have their own processes. And they'll all react differently, I'd imagine, to the client's material that's brought by one of them. That's right. And how interesting. Yeah. How interesting, then. Yeah. So you've got, say, six people in a group. You've got six different reactions yes. to the supervisee's material. Isn't that fascinating? How, how wonderful to be able to help the supervisee in their options they can get take back to their therapeutic work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it does. Strangely, if it does echo a lot of courses, do have group supervision, um, you know. And I've I've sat in group supervision with with, with students through the years, um, and without being kind of um, rude or discounting um, the students that I've worked with, I think that the, there is something really strongly in having someone who's doing it. It would be completely different with someone with, with practitioners who are more experienced because they're probably le less audited of themselves I would imagine yeah. and you know uh, the really big difference in this group uh, sorry this uh, book is the word relational so many supervisors may run group supervision mm -hmm. where they get they they check in with this, what the four people want and they do individual supervision within the group yes this is diametrically different mm. this mm. is Ha this is very much about the re the group relating as a group and you know um, transacting as a group mm -hmm. rather than going around individually almost feels like like a, a pseudo encounter or process group in supervision in supervision yes so the idea is, and the focus is is always how to aid the client absolutely in the other process, away from the actual supervisory group yes so it's a wonderful book to read um, because it, it talks about a relational group supervision over a whole year and how not only the things that I'm just talking about here but how the supervisor brought their own transferences into that and how they also contain the group mm. so it's a, it's a very interesting read yeah yeah well I you know, it sounds it sounds absolutely fascinating. It sounds really unique. Mm. Um, it sounds like a great read for for any across, across modality, really. If anybody's a yeah, humanistic okay. therapist or a, or, a, or a TA therapist, sounds to me or like there's a lot of you psychoanalytic. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of crossover there, Bob. And uh, yeah, and of course, it's someone you knew, someone you trained with. Yeah, Helen Hogan. But when you read this book, just allow yourself to be open to ideas. This isn't about black and white of supervision. This is this is really to be open, uh, reflective book. You don't have to follow any of the ideas, but it's a, an enriching, rewarding, stimulating read. Well, that sounds to me like the greatest recommendation. Just on those last points, Bob. Um, not to mention um, the uniqueness of the experience and yeah. the the, yeah. the kind of biographical. Um, uh, yeah. theme of it so yeah. Uh, yeah so there you have it Helena Hagenden the art of relational supervision it does sound like an, a, an art and uh, it, 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 it's yeah art. yeah as we, yeah. as we always say Bob you you're not being paid for this book review no you, you know the author <laughs> this is just you showing your love of books this is just me talking about this particular which is uh, you were right at the beginning it is groundbreaking. So read it in that sort of frame. Yeah, yeah. Plowing, plowing, a new furrow. As yeah, it were. Just yeah. Look at it that way. Yeah, 
yeah i always think it's really good to look at alternative ideas so we'll leave people hanging with that idea and uh, i'll put a link we'll put a link in the in the comments bar below yeah. so people can yeah. go to the book and yeah. uh, as always bob thank you very much for sharing your love of literature and your encyclopedic knowledge it would seem of the people who write it <laughs> thank you very much thanks very much bye bye thanks bob <laughs>